back at it with round two of the smoothies. Today we've got this banana in there and then uh, I'd say a handful but I actually measured it out and that was 100 grams of this summer fruit. So this has got like um, raspberries, blackberries and black currants. So I literally just had those two and then some normal Cravendale milk. I'm really tempted to start um, making shakes and smoothies with this so I might actually try a Maybe not the crunchy one, but a type of peanut butter I'm going to try and put into a smoothie soon. Maybe like a chocolatey, kind of banana flavoured one. So that's my morning so far. I did actually have to go out and buy the milk and the bananas. And actually went for like the half natty bananas, not the fair trade ones. But they big, man. They were big. Although when I peeled it, it did feel a bit like weird and stiff. I don't know if that's because of how it's grown or what, but it tastes completely fine though. And I'm also going to have some shreddies before I go. I'm going to have a big old bowl of these with some more milk. Um, just because the last few days when I've been to the gym, I don't actually know why it is. I don't know whether it's because I haven't been eating. Because literally like the last three workouts, I've actually gone into them fasted. I haven't eaten anything. I've had like pre-workout, maybe some sweets. For kind of like intra-workout carbs. But I just haven't been feeling my workouts. I did legs and just... I just really didn't like it. Squats went really well. I did like 70 for like 8, 10 reps. So strength was increasing with that. But everything else just felt too slow. And like it took way too much of a breath for me to do anything. But I'm hoping today that's going to change with me having a lot of food, this shake, everything. So I'm going to eat this as quickly as I can really. Probably wait like 20 minutes just to let the food kind of sink in. And then I'll be off to the gym. And it's going to be chest and arms. So probably the best day for gym to actually go well. I think out of my whole split the way it is now, chest and arms is probably the one I enjoy the most right now. Now with these shakes, I did actually say that I wanted to have these um, in the first place because I just wanted to boost my immune system and just get loads more micronutrients in me. But I found that if you make ones that have a lot of carbs in them, so obviously the bananas that I used, those are actually going to be really good for right before going to a workout because obviously the high amount of carbs. If you are going to um, Start having these like I do and you're gonna have like berry ones and strawberries and bananas, all the kind of fruits that have a lot of sugar in them. Make sure that you are still counting them because otherwise you could end up going over your calories and you don't even realise it because it's fruit. Big misconception that people have. They think if they eat healthy and they eat fruit and veg with each of their meals then they're not gonna get fat and stuff like that. But little things like sauce, fruit and veg butter so many people overlook them and they don't realize that they have so many calories in or they'll use on this low fat and think that it means it's basically got nothing in it and they'll have loads of that and it'll just turn out to be a lot more calories than they think they're consuming like like with salad cream for instance someone has salad they put a bit of salad cream on it that's fine but then when they put like another eight servings on there that's when things go to crap really because you think that you're being healthy when in actual fact you're not just a quick update on the protein that I'm using, by the way. Um, my Optimum Nutrition Whey has actually run out now, which I'm kind of glad about because it tasted awful. You know the story, this was mixed with it and it just tasted like crap. Um, <laughs> but this one is what I've been using lately. This is actually my brother's before he moved to Australia, he bought this. Each serving is 78 grams and there's a, and there's about 40 protein and 20 carbs in there and not much fat at all. So been having that for a while, that is the strawberry flavour. I've actually been using headphones in my workouts recently, um, it helps me lift a little bit more because of obviously the music being what I want to listen to rather than whatever the gym's playing because sometimes, you know, it's, some, some gyms just don't play the music that you like or it's just the same music all the time. Uh, the ones that I actually use, I figured I'd share with you guys because I think they're pretty good. I got these for Christmas, they're called Blue, Blue Deal, I think, that's like the only thing that I know in terms of a name for it, but it's, I think it's Blue Dio Hurricane Turbine, so I think that's the actual model. Um, I sounded really bunged up then. Yeah, they're wired, but you can take the wire out and make a Bluetooth as well, and the thing is, you charge it by wiring it and plugging it in like you would charge anything else, and then like, obviously use the Bluetooth if you want to, but I got those like last Christmas. Um, I, it's not that I haven't ever used them, I use them quite a bit and I've been using them a lot recently. It's still on like full charge, so the charge on these is bloody incredible. So if you guys want some headphones that are going to last you a while and you don't have to charge that often, I'd definitely go for those. 
what's going on guys welcome back to another workout commentary here you're seeing arms and chest as I would have said at the start of this video which by the way you'll see at the end of this video because I talk about it briefly but this workout was really good and just like I said at the start of the video um, it's becoming one of my most favorite things to train so whenever I look at what I'm meant to be training that day and it says chest and arms I get excited to do it because my chest strength has been going up although my bench has been taking a while to go up just general strength has been going up. So these things that you're seeing here, the flat dumbbell um, presses, doing 27.5 here for a good like eight or 10 reps. I think I actually got to about 10 on the first working set and then nine on the second one and just about got nine on the third one as well. You're only seeing two here, but the point is that I'm gaining strength on that and that's just all around good. You'll find in your training the more slow twitch muscle fibers that you're growing by doing higher reps from like eight to 15, the stronger your muscles are going to get in that way for those types of higher reps so again here I used to only be able to do like a 20 plate and a 10 plate but on top of the 20 and the 10 on this decline um, chest press machine here I've also got another 5 and another 2.5 so it might not look like a whole lot more but considering before I could only get 12 reps of about a 20 and a 10 it's still progress there so constantly making progress and that's what we need to look for when it comes to each session that you go in the gym obviously not everyone cares about strength but if you're trying to build muscle in most cases strength actually comes along with that as an additional thing that you're gaining so if you're struggling on gaining strength with the fast twitch muscle fibers like me so with my bench doing really low reps with my squats doing really low reps you might find that taking a break from that and just focusing on the slow twitch muscle fibers, so doing higher reps and just building muscle, that you'll actually get stronger, not only with those muscle fibers, but just overall, so it'll actually help you with building kind of structural strength with your bench press and the things that you're trying to get PRs on. So you're going to keep focusing on that and going back to the bench every so often, probably once every couple of uh, sessions, just to see if my strength's going up which at the moment is kind of okay, it's where it kind of was before I did my cut, so working back to that strength and chasing that 100kg bench press and really doing all I can do to gain the strength necessary to be able to do that. So that's it for this workout commentary, hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video and please drop a like, comment and subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you all later. Workout done, that was significantly better than the last few days. I'm not sure if it had anything to do with the shake that I had or the fact that I had some carbs and just food in general before I went to the gym but it was so much better than the last few days as I said before, legs the other day just felt so crap I felt like I didn't have any energy for it didn't really have any motivation to even do it I completed the workout but just it didn't really feel like I gave it my all and you know the next day didn't feel that sore it just wasn't as good of a workout as it usually is and <coughs> I think Going in there today, kind of with more of a positive attitude, thinking as a placebo, thinking the fact that I had food and a shake and just kind of having a fairly productive morning and then going to the gym, I think that's what's made it a lot better today. I think if you actually keep that mindset that you can go in there and you can have a good workout and just keep positive, don't, don't sulk and think like, oh, I'm not gaining weight as quickly as I want or anything like that. Just keep going with whatever it is that you're doing. One of the reasons that I've been kind of eh, the last few days is because I started to notice that I was gaining muscle with this bulk, but then the last few days, I don't think it's anything to do with the fact that I didn't have a good workout, but I just feel like I've lost size or like I've just hit a plateau, I've kind of hit a wall just with all my training for the last few days and I don't know, today that will change, went back in there and it, I think with these kind of um, problems where you just kind of hit that wall and you know, you're kind of lost, you don't know why you're doing what you're doing, you don't know whether or not you want to keep doing it. It's not that I questioned whether or not I want to keep training, it was just that I didn't have any motivation to keep doing it. I think with times like that, you've literally just got to take a step back and think of why you started doing it in the first place. Why did you start training? Why did you start pursuing your dream or whatever it is that you want to do? For me, with training, it was because I just felt so small and I, to be honest, it was self-confidence. I wanted to be not massive, I just wanted to be a little bit bigger, fill out my t-shirts a little bit better and just have kind of a little physique going on. Yeah, if you just take a look back, think of how far you've come with everything and why you started in the first place and then just keep going with it. Sometimes it is because maybe you're overtraining or whatever you're doing, you're doing it too much because too much of something is bad. Just take a step back and reevaluate everything. So training session was good. I'm going to finish that smoothie that I had this morning because I made a buttload of that and I didn't realise how much how much milk I put in that shake. 
But yeah, guys, if you are hitting these plateaus with your training or any kind of work that you're doing, just remind yourself of what it is that you want to achieve and always have a goal there. If you don't have a goal with whatever you're doing and you're just going through the motions, it will probably become boring very quickly and you'll just lack motivation. With me feeling like I wasn't gaining enough, I'm actually going to try to change that and maybe recount my macros and... Um, maybe go into a slightly higher surplus, just make little changes here and there, make sure that I've constantly got a goal and I'm constantly making progress. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling, going to go have that shake, do a commentary. Thank you for your continuous support, everyone that comments, likes, subscribes, everything, and I'll see you guys in the next video.